Um, this is part 4 filler enhancement. So before you do this exercise, make sure you copy this .ctf file into your working folder. You can right click and then select save target as. Okay, save it into your working folder. For example, my working folder is under um, Simatron documents and then this is Simatron E10. Okay, so I save this uh, file into my working folder. Okay, after that, we need to unpack it. So go to file and then select unpack. Okay, we select this file. Okay, the filler file. And then unpack. Uh, the destination part, we change, uh, select uh, where you need to save this unpack file. Uh, I recommend that you save it into your working folder. And then the use uh, folder path we change to without folder history. Okay, after that, click OK. OK. Now we can close the um, city, uh, zip file. Okay, now we need to load the filler file. Select it. Uh, select it from your working folder. Load it. OK. This is um, the filler. We load it. Step 1. Next, we're going to select the fillet function under face. Okay, and then at the bottom here, have a message to tell us that pick the first set of faces and then exit. So I pick this as the first um, face. After that, press middle mouse button to exit. And then I select this three for the second set of faces. Okay, after that, exit to uh, the third step. Okay, um, you here have the two options, is a constant radius and variable radius. So now I will use the constant radius first. Okay, okay. here you can see the first set and the second set. Okay, and also here have the art to show us, okay, the uh, radius is how much for example if I said the radius is 20 okay this are also will become larger and become 20 okay of course now I want to uh, the radius is 10 okay here also you can change the uh, option from round to flat or flat to round okay now I to show you the round first so we click preview to see the result okay this is um, the round option. Okay. Okay. Now we change to um, flat option. Um, the radius I don't want to change, and then I click preview to see the result. Can see the difference. Okay. This is round. Do you see that the difference? Okay, now I clicked um, OK. This is step two. Okay, um, step two is about the solid chamfer, and now I want to show you is about the face filler chamfer. So I want to edit this uh, right click and then select edit feature. Okay. Um, the constant radius I changed to various uh, variable radius. Sorry. Okay. After that, um, I want to pick um, maybe here. Okay, and then um, maybe here, maybe and here. Okay. Um, I changed to fifteen. This for ten, and maybe this for eight. Okay, after that, um, here also I have the uh, round and flat option. So I will try to use the round option first. Okay, you can see the result is like this. Here's, here is bigger and then here is smaller because of the radius, different radius. Okay. Now we try to change it to flat, so <clears throat> you can see the different result. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, this is uh, the difference between the solid chamfer and the face filler chamfer. <coughs> so click OK. This is step 3. Next, we want to show the solid set, so we go to set and we click here to show it. And then we select, um, select this. Sorry, it is like this one. After that, uh, we click this hide icon to hide it. Okay, and then we uh, need to show the achieve. And we go to the uh, measuring icon and select this endpoint. We select here and move it to here. So the distance is 10 mm. Okay, after that, we show the um, face chamfer. So the filler face chamfer is different from the solid chamfer. Um, the chamfer is set according to the imaginary round filler face. So you can see the difference. 